Good evening, everybody. It is January 2nd, 2023. In the Big Bear area, we are just gonna take a little drive through town because it just started snowing again. We're not anticipating too much out of this next little uh, on and off for probably 12 hours snow. It looks like we might get another inch. That's what I'm thinking from everything that I looked at. So nothing special. The boulevard is just ridiculous with traffic right now. You guys, like, man, it's bad. It's really, really, really bad. So, uh, yeah, we're going to avoid the boulevard. We're going to take the back streets close to the village and then probably turn around at the village. But we're on Brownie Wayne. We turned on Brownie Wayne from Moon Ridge Boulevard. And Brownie Wayne is right catty corner from Walgreens. And we're going to take this until she dead ends. And then we're going to turn left. I believe it's on Wren. W-R-E-N. Yeah, look at, look at the boulevard over here. It's really, really, really bad. I mean, there are so many cars. Oh my gosh, it's horrible. Hope all of you guys who are stuck in that traffic are getting back to your uh, cabins safely and not stressing too much. I think maybe the stress is a little bit more for for me because I I'm involved in all the traffic year after year. And then again, I know a lot of you guys come from really heavy trafficked areas, so it's probably a bummer to go from traffic to traffic, but wow, there's just so many people, so many people. guys not at all in terms of ice and snow traffic as I just pointed out it's it's rough as a matter of fact take a look look at all that red on there it's usually not that bad but it is really bad right now temperature's 31 degrees it's almost 6 p.m. Right, we're gonna turn left here on Wren W-R-E-N so this is where Brownie dead ends you guys we're gonna avoid all of that right there. Just bumper to bumper, non-stop traffic. We're probably gonna be clear of all traffic. This is how you get from Moon Ridge to the village without dealing with any traffic, guys. Now we're gonna turn right on McWinnie. got that big heavy dose of snow uh, New Year's morning at like 1 in the morning, 2 in the morning. It was coming down so heavy so fast that it made the trees look just spectacular. I love I love it when the trees are full, are all covered in white like this. It's so pretty. Usually it takes a lot of snow for that to happen. So uh, we did get a good amount of snow in that hour. All right, we're on Oak now. make the left up here on Jeffries once, once we get there. But yeah, it's, it usually takes a good amount of snow to produce the amount of white you see in the trees. A lot of it has gone away, but it's still enough to make it really, really, really pretty. Having the trees transform like that makes everything, it, it just makes everything so beautiful.
you a sense of where where we're at according to where the traffic is this person's going right they're gonna get stuck in some nasty traffic unfortunately once they hit the boulevard we are gonna continue making our way behind all the traffic and we turn right here on Pennsylvania then we basically stay on this until the village or until we hit some traffic then we're just gonna turn around Going into the village would not be fun right now. But this is what I do. As soon as we get any weather, I am out here recording. And I hope you guys don't mind I didn't take the main boulevard so you guys can see it. See how rough it is because I didn't want to get stuck in any of that. Just want to show you guys the beautiful snow falling. This hill can be quite treacherous coming up here, especially when there's traffic. It's a lot steeper than it looks on camera, I'll tell you that. I see cars sliding out here all the time, going down the hill sideways. Not good, but we made it, no problem. And we are coming up to Village Drive, folks. So Pennsylvania turns into Village Drive. And we will take a look at how it looks when we get up here you guys see how easy that was there wasn't like base there was hardly a car and then right when we turn this corner you'll see all the cars in the village just backed up boom look at that maybe i don't know if you can see so we are going to turn around right here i'm just going to make you turn at this intersection here but this is the village straight ahead and we are not going to mess with that okay so once again village drive turns into pennsylvania avenue which is what we're on right now if you guys can get to know this route i'm telling you Will save you a lot of time and make your stay even better I've told you guys numerous times people who live up here give me a lot of crap for telling you guys these routes and I can kind of understand it you know um, but at the same time I always revert back to without without you guys none of us get to live here so why not suck it up a little bit give you guys a better stay uh, less time in traffic why not do that for you guys I think that is a good thing. Hey, come on, buddy. This guy's nice. Thank you! Whenever someone's being cool up here, guys, always thank them. Like, write them a letter. Send them a check. Because I've noticed, for me, when I'm extra nice which I should be all the time because once again, you guys pay for us to live here. You guys create the jobs up here. We are very lucky to have you guys come up here and spend a lot of money. But uh, like, uh, I, I just always suggest always being extra, extra kind. I know it's frustrating up here, guys. I know it is. And sometimes I feel bad for, you know, kind of talking so negatively sometimes about traffic and this and that. But um, when you can, just be a little extra nice show some love out there and people like me will really appreciate that like really appreciate that let's say like someone lets me turn right here where we're turning right anyway and if they wouldn't have let me in it would have taken another five minutes i'm telling you that'll make my day like that will really make my day and then i'll just pass along the kindness and that's what we need up here we just need everyone to be nice show each other love and enjoy this place together because it is all of our playground just because i live here doesn't make it any more mine than you guys it's ridiculous all right turn on my 
brides here. <coughs> now we're gonna turn left again on Eureka and then a right on McWinnie. You just basically stay on Eureka and it curves around and changes to McWinnie. McWinnie the Pooh. Also, keep in mind, when we have snow like this, guys, you can't see a lot of these little ditches, but where that thick pile of snow is right there, there's like a two or three foot ditch right there. And if you get too close to it, it'll suck your car in and you're gonna be stuck. We have a lot of that up here, especially in Big Bear City. When there's snow, it covers it up. And it's just, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a recipe for disaster. I can't tell you, I, I've seen our, our local buses stuck in those ditches. Um, I just really want you guys to get through and have a good time up here. I don't want you guys to suffer. Heck no. There's the boulevard straight ahead. As you can see, we made it to the village and just about all the way back with no effort. I mean, no effort. Those of you who watch this channel fairly regularly, you guys know some of these shortcuts that I try to show you. Just always remember, always remember, because we don't want to irritate the locals. Always remember, just be respectful driving on these streets. Don't don't be speeding down these streets. Just just be as cool as you guys are, and everything will be fine. Okay, so now up here ahead on Brownie, we're coming up to a few cars so we're just gonna turn right here and go up to like Switzerland or something this is Thrush Road this is the exit for Snow Summit as you can see there's Snow Summit straight ahead with the lights on they are making snow currently it's 29 degrees and this snow is supposed to pick up you guys about 10 or 11 o'clock tonight it wasn't supposed to start till about 11 o'clock tonight so we'll we'll take it i'm finally happy that you know something in our favor is happening but once again just a super wrong in terms of timing the forecast but we'll take it when it's wrong like this okay so we're going to turn left where this dude turned left if we go straight we're going to enter the snow summit parking lot and we don't want to do that. I don't know if, if you guys can see the summit over there. It's so pretty. Oh man, it's so pretty. These places seem really, really great because of their location. Can't imagine how much these spots rent for each night. I'm telling you guys, if this channel ever like really, really does grow into something where I actually make any money off of YouTube, we're gonna open up, my wife and I, our own little hotel resort. Not a big place, but a place that hopefully has maybe seven to 10 rooms, and then we can house you guys. And it'll be nice, because I wanna have something like a miniature Lake Tahoe up here in terms of the five-star environment. I think that would be great. Look at that, that is so beautiful. There's no one behind us, so we're just gonna sit here for a second and look at the gorgeous, gorgeous mountainside. Oh man, it's so pretty. All right, we're gonna cut across now. My wife went down the mountain today and she drove back up Highway 38 and uh, near the top there was an awful lot of snow. She sent me a little video clip, it looked amazing. But also there was a huge long line of cars that just stopped in the middle of the right lane in one of the passing areas to put on tire chains. It's just nothing ever changes with that. Fudge. They just got to be more more prepared coming up here. You guys hear that? We freaking bottomed out pretty good right there. That dip usually isn't that bad.
but this is Switzerland. This road and this road has some, some bad potholes and the dips get worse and worse the more the snow is piled on, like right here. Hopefully there's no damage, but if there is, oh well, we'll get it fixed eventually. Not too worried about it. It is a brand new car, but that's okay. So this Switzerland is going to drop us off on Elm Street in Moonridge. Car takes a lick in and keeps on ticking. pretty cool how these brights turn off by themselves when there's cars in front of you or coming towards you. It's really neat. So we might do a little drive through Spoon Ridge. Oh, it's so pretty over here. Look at, look at all the snow over here. Some really big mansions over here. Beautiful part of town. Both sides of the street have like palatial mansions. They re they're really humongous. Wish you guys could see them better. All right. Give me a second. So I just want to get out and check the damage on the car. I couldn't see anything. Could not see anything. So that's okay. That's the second time I've done that. Both occasions were during snow. One of them was pulling out of the little 7-Eleven on Big Bear Boulevard on one of the, uh, not the main entrance, but the small little exit on the side onto Big Bear Boulevard. There was like some really piled up snow. And I thought I'd be good, but no, I banged the crap out of the car. And then, uh, in my other Subaru, once that thing comes back, it's got a two inch lift. I haven't bottomed out in that thing yet in four years. So I guess that lift really has been something worthwhile. At least most of the damage I'm getting to the car is not visible, it's underneath the car, so that's good. I'm one of those people, if there's like a, a good enough dent on the car, I'll be too embarrassed to drive it. I'll just take the bus. <laughs> and somebody did ding my door already. No note was left, nothing. So we are on Club View right now. Once we turn right here, we are on Club View. This is how you head to Bear Mountain. And that is what we are doing. I heard Upper Moon Ridge has significantly more snow than down here, but right now those roads going up and down would be extreme. Super treacherous. So we might not take that risk. During the daytime, when we get some more snow uh, on Thursday, we'll probably cruise up there. feels fine the things I do for you guys destroy my new cars but it's worth it you guys are worth it in the big scheme of things it's only a car
but I'll tell you what, when I crashed the other car before I got this, that was extremely stressful because I didn't have any transportation. And my wife's car engine had just blown up, so we were we were both pretty screwed, I should say. Well, here's the bear. It's my favorite place right there. Gotta love bear. Hey, what's that in the road? Oh, unreal, man. All right, we're gonna follow this along and this ends up turning into Moon Ridge Road again. I know it would cost a lot of money, but Bear should get some some night lights so people can go night skiing there too. That's my favorite resort here. A lot of nostalgia comes with that place for me. Here comes another dip. We're gonna slow it up for this one for sure. Didn't expect the one at Switzerland would be that gnarly. And I think this Subaru has a little higher lift on it than normal anyway. And we still bottomed out. of Snow Summit straight ahead, way up in the sky there. As I said, we're not expecting much snow out of this, maybe an inch. And then the next little impulse coming through on Thursday, that one we could get, it says three to five inches. So if that's the case, that would be great. I would be super happy to see that. You guys have seen I haven't I haven't slipped at all everything's going very well we're having no issues you don't oh my gosh you don't have a stop here zoo to the left you can't see it though but that's our zoo our new zoo it's been around for like a year now or so maybe a little longer here we come to the new roundabout area people are just going up and down the curve <laughs> they can't see the curve so bright over here now. Get right in the lane. Can't wait till all this traffic here goes away because I am hungry and I don't want to make anything. I just want to go through a drive through Super lazy.
guys. So that's just a little snowfall update. As I said, it just started snowing maybe 40 minutes ago. And uh, yeah, it's nothing too heavy. The roads are not in bad shape. So come up here and have a great time, you guys. There's a lot of people coming up still each day. So be aware that it could take you forever to get here. You guys take care of yourselves. Stay safe and happy freaking new year. We'll do another video tomorrow. Um, if it really picks up tonight, of course, we'll go back out because that's what we do. Take care, y'all. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.